I'm Spencer. And I'm not him, so I am Justin. And this is The Itch. And we're here to talk about some drama regarding The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And your mama. That and is also. Yep, she also had some drama. So basically what happened, there's, there's two big stories that have happened around this. Talk to me, bro! The first one is that GMG... G-Unit. G-Unit has decided to sell the game early for $35, I believe? Yeah, okay. 35 bucks. They're selling it early, so people jumped on that, obviously. The problem is that CD Projekt Red, who makes the game, didn't actually give them keys to sell that game. They said, what the fuck? So, Essentially. That's their words. But yeah. <laughs> so they, they end up talking to each other and everything like that. And it turns out they had actually, they, they've been trying to get the ability to sell the game for a while and... And had negotiated mm -hmm. with uh, CD Projekt Red and found out that, hey, they're not, in fact, interested in um, working with us. However, uh, we believe we have what's uh, in the best interest of not only us, but also the uh, gaming community, more so than CD Projekt Red. So we are going to distribute the game essentially without, like, <laughs> without their consent, which really confuses me. Right. Because that raises the question, how? It's like, it's not even your thing. And you want to get sued. What I don't understand is that they said it's because they care about the gamer and stuff like that, but... At the end of the day, how, the game, it's online. Like, how can the gamer, the gamer can get the game anywhere. Well, <laughs> why do they need to get it from them? I think, honestly, what I think it is, because they actually went ahead and reneged on their uh, offer, according to a couple of uh, news uh, sites and stuff like that. They went ahead and reneged and said, hey, you know what? We're offering it for 60 bucks now. Well, then it's not about the game at that point. It's about, it's about, honestly, it's about you not looking like an idiot and not getting getting sued, which you probably still are going to get. Does I mean this just screams of like an immaturity almost? Like it does. I wonder because in the world of business, this shouldn't really happen. I mean, terrible. financially and everything. Yeah, and and that's the interesting thing. CD Projekt Red has had a um, an interesting uh, like they're like the cool kids on the block. They're like a for weird, now until they screw up. So until they screw up, everyone's gonna screw up, right? <laughs> um. They haven't, like, they don't really care too much about uh, pirating, I think they said. One of the things they said, they just care about people getting the game and playing it. And they're, as far as I know, they're just a couple of cool guys. Like, they just, they put out quality content. Um, obviously, the Witcher games are not for everyone, but you cannot knock them for, you know, how very well developed they are. And how much they push, you know, uh, the envelope as far as just graphically and... And you know, as far as the narrative uh, standpoint goes, very good. I like um, that you can have sex with everybody. That is a thing. Uh, but like, crap. So comes the sex in my game. I'm so sucking. Um, I'm trying to talk and play games, but um, it's it's kind of it's it's one thing to you know, and especially they're really calm about this. I yeah. have to say, you cannot like even the Polish. Or yeah, they're just like hey. If they were a rapist, they would be very stoic and just. <laughs> Almost like, it's drinking, like drinking tea uh, or something. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like the main character of Witcher. Uh, <laughs> uh, same game, Garrett. Garrett. I have not played The Witchers. It's been a while. Well, actually, I have played the first Witcher, but regardless, the second Witcher. So that's the main drama that kind of happened. Yeah, that's the most recent. And again, obviously they reneged it, so that doesn't exist anymore. So it's kind of really head, real head scratcher. Yeah, why it there's even definitely happened. gonna be repercussions. There has to be. But something else happened that's not so great. What is the something? The game got leaked. What the dick? So people have already played this game a couple weeks before it's supposed to come out, and basically what you need to worry about is spoilers are everywhere on the internet right now. Yeah, they are up and down your ass crap pretty much. So if you're one of those people that doesn't, that really loves stories and games and really and wants to not be shocked. Or having spoilers in your ass. Yeah, you stay off the internet. Yeah. Oh, Just be like... careful what you see online. Also, it was it was streamed on Twitch for a little bit and all those streams got taken down and I assume the, the people that did it got in trouble. Yeah, suspensions or bans probably. Like should, which honestly, like, ladies and gentlemen, it should be noted. If a game is, is not out yet. You know Twitch is up on that stuff. They're fully aware of what games are and are not out. 
And if you're streaming one of their games, they will find you. Yeah. And they will ban you. <laughs> it's, just, it's just something that's going to happen. It's, a, it's unfortunate, but, I mean, at the same time, like, you should know better. Yeah. Don't. Honor, honor the street date, you know. So what if you got it early? So what? Any game, for that matter. So what if you're best friends with the guy at GameStop and he's going to hook you up with a free copy of Mortal Kombat 10? People got banned for that one, too, for <laughs> streaming that one early. Did they? Yeah. That's so cool. It's just, it's across the board. Like, do not do that stuff. Like, you shouldn't be doing that stuff. Anyway. Yeah. That is my, my soapbox. <laughs> but regardless, it's a lot of interesting drama, um, especially lately. Like, there's, there seems to be a lot of people that just don't seem to know. I mean, there was the thing with Shadow of Mordor. And they're trying to get people like they're really invasive yeah. with your with like what your rights are. Um, it's the same thing with uh, The Witcher. Like people are going like, oh hey, you know what? Or like these guys, uh, Green Man Gaming, yeah. are like, hey, you know what? We don't care if it's your game. We're just gonna fucking distribute it. Right. It doesn't make sense. Who, is this? Who are these people? Who are you <laughs> to? To take a game that we, that I created, right, as an example, yeah. or you, the audience, you know, have created, and then, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna distribute it for you. Where's my profits going? Because obviously, I didn't give you a product, but at that point, you're in that that sort of illegal area where you're making money off of a product without giving it, like, yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure how any of the pro, you know, profits are gonna work in this situation. Yeah, as far as I know, weird. they haven't received any money. Oh no! <laughs> we'll have to see about that. We will. Make sure to check out in the future our review of the game, which I will be playing. Yes, I will be playing way much later, so... And if my computer can handle it, maybe <laughs> I'll stream some of it. <laughs> but we'll if, if it can't, we're gonna wait a little bit. We'll <laughs> yeah, the PS4 yeah. version and whatnot. I'm Spencer. And I'm Jay Day. And this is The Itch. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on This is The Itch on Twitch. We do new videos every week! Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.